Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. Um, life's been complicated lately, busy, 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 and with this virus running around, it's slowed down a lot. But I haven't had a lot of motivation. <laughs> Can't win lately. So my empties box is overflowing, so I thought it might be time to do an empties video. I haven't filmed a video for a while. Um, trying to use up a lot of stuff I've got um, and use up bits and pieces and put bits and pieces together so all my paints are together, all my glue sticks and stuff so nothing gets lost and wrecked. So a couple of ink pads, well that one just disintegrated, these were really cheap ones from years ago. Um, so glad I got those out of my stash and what I'm trying to do is test things out that are really old and if they are used up, well this is totally hard, just throw it out. Gets it out of my stash and I can put room for something else. So there were three ink pads I managed to get rid of. These I absolutely hate. Oh, it's a bit dusty. Um, obviously I've been sitting on my um, empties box for a while. So these and I have these glue tapes and I have a love-hate relationship. Uh, I love the concept of them, but I hate using them because they always stuff up. Plus this was a really cheap one anyway. So yeah, well, buy cheap stuff. Get <laughs> Don't get very good results. Four glue sticks used up. I tend to grab which ones ever are around. I do like the Bosque ones, but... They are quite expensive. So I think this one's a Kmart one. Scholar, that's a Audi one. And I don't even know where that little one one's from. So four glue sticks used up. So I'm doing a bit of crafting here and there. Um, managed to use up some double-sided tape. A little roll of that. And got two rolls of washi tape out of my stash. This one was like a duct tape. Mainly used that one on my phone cover um, when I redecorated that. And this one I got rid of. Yay! Got rid of a washi tape. I have quite a few rolls of washi tape. I've been trying to use them up so you see a lot more of my art journaling um, coming up in the next few months. Trying to use up a lot of the washi tape because again it has a shelf life. Been going through some... no that one's still full. This one. Um, been going through some matte gel mediums. Mod Podge, I've got a bit of that to use up. This is the paper version of it. The thing I don't like about it is it's not totally clear. Ideally, I'd love to buy Liquitex all the time, but hey, the budget won't suffice. So I just grab whatever's cheap and whatever's going. Got a fair supply at the moment of different things to use up. So you'll see me using different things in the videos. Sorry, I was in frame for those other things. Um, this one I quite like. I usually get this one at Lincraft when it's on special. You think it's usually six or six dollars and you can get it forty percent off, so it's like three dollars forty or something. Again, it says it's matte, but it does have a bit of gloss to it, but it's one of the cheaper ones I can find, so I don't mind. Used up some really old texture paste. I do have loads of texture paste to use up. Um, I've been collecting all my supplies together and it's amazing how many jars and tubs of stuff I've found when I've been cleaning. Also been using a fair work of gesso, so these two come from Audi. I wish they did them again. They did their paints, but they didn't do these mediums again. These are only three bucks, so these were a good buy. So I believe I've used the gesso ones up now. I do have the texture paste ones left, and I have their crackle medium and their... That's some other liquid, a thinner, paint thinner liquid. Um, so I'm endeavouring to use those as well. Crackle medium I have a love-hate relationship with. I love the effect, but it hates me. Um, so used up those, used up a glue, glue from Reject Shop, best craft glue ever. Um, I love it so you can put a really fine tip in it, so I just put like a needle down there because um, it comes completely closed, which is really handy, and I love that it's got a really small tip. The only thing I don't like is when you get a little bit left, it's really hard to get out, but I think it's only six bucks, so it's worth, worth a lot. Then I've been going through my paints to get rid of small tubes of paints, so some Joe Sonia paints got used up which is really good. These were, I think I got the little sets, like 10 or 8 paints for $2 at Spotlight years and years ago. Oh, there's another one I used up. Another odd one. This come in a craft kit. I do like that kind of paint, but I have a Claudia, who is it? Claudia Hellman? Um, I think it's a Ranger product, but I don't think they do it anymore. So I'm trying to use up all my older paints so I can purchase some new paints. And I went and purchased some the other day. There's some more old paints I've been using up. Kayser Craft paint lasts for ages until you pop the bottom of it. Then it sort of dries up. 
Um, Craftworks, oh that's a really really old one from Warehouse to Shut Down. Montmark's a good brand as well and this one's a good brand, Semco's a good brand from, I believe this is Lincraft or Spotlight also have that as well. So I've been doing a fair bit of trying to use up bits and pieces. The other thing I got out of my stash and used up or threw out because they were not working anymore was my beloved Delusions paints. Um, so the yellow ones totally dried out, but all the other colours I managed to use up except for the pink got really chunky. Now I love the paint, don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic product, but the jars suck. I'm so happy that she bought them out in the little tubes this year. So when my paints do disappear um, and do get down, I am going to purchase her range of colours. Because I love the colours and I want to play with her new, um, um, new, new, I'll think of it in a minute, new, oh my god, it's escaped my mind, fluoro paint colours too. So I love her colours, like especially the purples and the pinks and the yellows and the blues. I love the range of colours, but unfortunately the actual jars... Possibly I left them too long and didn't get them out and use them, but like these Kaiser paints I have had for 12 years and they're pretty good still. These don't last 12 years, it's just because of the container um, container type. So these were great if it's your only source of paint, you used them in about six months, but unfortunately I used them and sat them there and didn't go back to them for a while and unfortunately some of them are half full and they're just wasted. I've tried to redo them with water, I've tried different tricks and I've just given up because it doesn't, that's like totally solid on the bottom. Um, I can tell by the weight of them they've got a fair bit of paint in them so it's a bit of a waste but I am glad that she has brought them out in the other little containers. So that's my current empties. I'm hoping to empty a lot more stuff in the next couple of months. Love to see your empties and see your progression of getting your crafting done. Especially in this time with this virus running around. Um, it's a great time to get out your art supplies and actually have some me time because I'm finding myself I'm home quite a bit. 99.9% .9 of the time I'm home for the next foreseeable future. So it is a good time to get A, my craft stuff organised and B, use some of this stuff up and have some fun along the way and de-stress in this interesting time of 2020. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to putting up a bit more regular schedule videos. I do have some backlog that I have to edit and voice over so I'm endeavouring to do that. Um, as I said I'm home a lot more but I've been lacking a little bit of motivation as you can probably understand um, with everything that's going on um, and I do still look after my 12 year old which Takes up a fair bit of your time, as any parent would know. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.